In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make the most out of Figma for creating accessible iconography and how to export your designs to React components or JSON. This way, your Figma file becomes single source of truth for both designers and developers. Let's kick things off with the icon design. I will use an image of a pen icon as a reference since it looks generic enough. Since the icon's geometry is symmetric, we'll start by creating the left side outline of the pen. Make sure to place your anchor points perfectly in the center of the pixel box. I prefer softer and rounder edges for my icons, so I will use Bezier curves to adjust the curvature. It's helpful to stick to the pixel box and place the end handle of the Bezier curve within the center of the pixel box too. As you can see, I try to place the stroke perfectly in the center of the pixel box for crisper rendering on non-retina screens. I will quickly adjust the general shape, then duplicate our half side, use horizontal reflection, and remember to paste the other half while editing the strokes. This helps merge them into a single path instead of two. Next, I will use the 20 by 20 bounding box to its maximum. Use integers to scale your icon up. Now let's add more details. I will place the vertical stroke and circle to finalize the pen icon. In this case, I can't place the vertical line perfectly in the pixel box, but that's not an issue since I want my icon to be at 45 degree angle. Let's rotate our icon. It's crucial to flatten the icon's outer stroke so Figma can recalculate the bounding box size and position. Without flattening, positioning perfectly in the pixel grid can be tricky. With the final adjustments done, we can check if the individual anchor points are placed within the center of the pixel box. Just move the anchors to the nearest pixel box center in this case. A crucial step is testing our design for accessibility. Use Pixel Preview in Figma by pressing Shift plus Ctrl or Command plus P. As you can see in the Pixel Preview, the icon looks a bit blurry. We can move anchor points slightly up, left or right to see if the new curve line design looks sharper. Once satisfied with the general icon design, Let's test for visual impaired users by scaling the icon down to 16 by 16 pixels and applying 2 to 3 pixel blur. This helps check if the icon is still legible. Another good test is to half close your eyes and see if you can still recognize the shapes. You can also blur these icons, send a Google form to your users and ask them to match the icon with the keyword. At Miro, we tested icons of accessibility designers and checked for consistency by placing icons in components and interface patterns of the Miro whiteboard web app. Now we can convert our design into a Figma component and leverage the description field for further accessibility features. Add keywords, tags or area labels so developers can fetch this information and insert into real React components, making each icon accessible for screen readers. I created a tool to convert Figma nodes to React components. Just copy the link to the frame with all your icons, paste it into the input field, press the Fetch Assets button, and you will see all your icons in the interface. Use the Download button to get your React components. When you open the files, you will see an index.js file with all the component imports and individual component files with the icons. The description gets populated in the area label attribute, making the components accessible out of the box. Let's fetch all my icons at once. I also test icons with different stroke widths to ensure the Figma icon design is correct. Sometimes Figma flattens the strokes into paths, making them non-scalable and you won't be able to apply stroke width. I will copy and paste all the icon files update the npm icons package version, and with these two simple commands, npm run build and npm publish, I can publish to an open source package, making it available for any developer. And there you go. 
we have our pen icon in our npm package. My custom npm page also allows you to customize the icon further by applying solid or gradients fields, changing stroke width, and with a single button click you can copy the PNG image to your clipboard, allowing non-designers or non-technical users to use the icons in their design documents like slides or Google Docs. I hope you found this interesting. If you would like to see more videos where I design more icons or Figma components for designers and developers, let me know in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you and see you in the next video.